Hey guys, welcome to that pedal show. Dan here. Mick here. Hello, welcome to Pedal Jams. Uh, for those of you new to us, welcome. Please subscribe. Yes. Um, uh, and for anyone who doesn't know, Pedal Jams is where we take four pedals that are kind of new to us. They might not necessarily be new to the market, but are new to us. And we just blast through them. We do. Jamage. For approximately half an hour, Dan. Yes. As opposed to 55 minutes, which we've been doing just recently. Yes. <laughs> and to keep us on clock. To keep us on track, Nick has pulled out his massive clock. Yes, I have a huge clock. Massive. And uh, it's here to always remind us... Uh, of many things. ...where we where we stand. Uh, right. So, the pedals this week, Daniel, are... We have the Pal 800 by Pedal Pal Effects. We have the Octron 3 by Fox Rocks. We have the Lost Highway Phaser by Fender. And we have the Mr. Moto by J Rocket Audio. Very nice. If you don't believe me that I've got a huge clock. <laughs> Here it is. Check out that massive clock. There's the massive clock. Three it's, minutes it's, expired already, Dan. Where did you find that? Amazon, of course. Did you search on Amazon for a massive clock? Yeah. <laughs> Fraser says that when he goes to um, the gym, Yes. It's full of massive clocks. Just like that for when they're doing their workouts. Well, my gym's got a pull, so. Yeah. All right then. Um, amps today are the Morgan Dual 20 in the Top Boost channel on the uh, EF86. I don't know why he's laughing. On the EF86 channel, uh, option that is. And the Victory V140, the Super Duchess, mm. um, arbitrarily going through a 1x12 cab containing a WGS-12L speaker. Nice. Uh, Creamback 75s in there, I believe, in the Morgan. Nice. Right. So, okay. Pedal Pal Effects. Um, yes. You've been talking to Luis. I have been talking to Luis. Uh, we went up north and spent some time with our mate... Ah, oh, God, brain! Lee Malia. Lee Malia. Um, from Bring Me the Horizon. Now, Lee was playing through this glorious sounding JCM 800. I thought I really want to do a show on JCM 800s because they've got a specific certain thing yep. that is really cool. So, that's the Marshall JCM 800. That is the Marshall JCM 800. Just in case that wasn't clear. So, I've started amassing some, some pedals that uh, have certain characteristics about them, and this is one of them. This is one of them. All the way from Venezuela, don't you know? Uh, Luis and Alvaro from Venezuela and nice. Pedal Pad of X. Uh, their strapline is El Passion Pour El Drive. <laughs> Not exactly. <laughs> Sorry. Different country. Oh, right. But um, El Passion <laughs> Pour El Dr I don't know whether they say drive or drive. Anyway, passion for gain down there in Venezuela. Um, this is the third version of it. Oh, right. Cool. Hence V3. Oh, cool. Uh, and V3 adds um, a couple of features... Uh, it's basically a Marshall in a box. That's what they say. Right. That's their thing. Um, the new feature is, one of the new features is, minus 6 dB. Oh, cool. Okay, nice. Plus 6 dB, mm -hmm. like you'd get on an old four-input Marshall. Right. Um, it has this 34 switch, which we will come to, and it has a three-position gain voicing switch. Cool. Shall we? Yes. <laughs>
So it sounds like, like a, you got a cocked wire or something on the front. Yeah. Like a really severe voicing switch. I thing. was trying to find the... So this gain voicing switch was trying to find... The the, the middle one just sounds... Uh, well, listen. Here you go. You, you flick between them. Okay. And just listen to the three gain uh, voicing switches. <laughs> There's an extreme range of stuff there. Just knock the um, input back by six, can you? Then knock the input back. Th yeah, yeah. There you go. <laughs> that so makes more sense. I think those more extreme settings would work better into a filthy amp. Okay, yeah, right. Okay. Almost like a treble booster. Interesting. And you're right about that cocked. Yeah. Wah kind of sound. And I think that the 800s had that. They had that kind of really specific mid-range. Right. Very, very vocal and very, very cutting. Right. Um, yeah, I think I can't work out which one I like the sound of best. Because the middle one feels too flat to me. Right. And the other two are that kind of thing when you watch Phil X. <laughs> and you go, wow, yeah, that's right. a guitar sound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's that. It's that really kind of... it'd be better into an amp that's a bit crunchier okay um the 34 switch is something to do with slash okay apparently a mod that was that can be done to 800s and plexis uh that is the slash mod requiring said guitar let's see what happens daniel okay go again <laughs> For that, yeah, enough of that one. We've got to move on, okay. Um, yeah, borderline uncontrollable, yeah. Uh, needs I don't know more experience or something for us to make that sound better. I liked it with the without the voice, I liked it in the middle, yeah. That's the best, the best sound I think we got so far, yeah. It wasn't enough there, I didn't think, anyway. Okay, right, Fox Rocks Octron 3. Mm, so, finally, some Fox Rock stuff on the show, yes. Uh, the Octron came out in 2005, right. It was discontinued in 2015. Right. There was a version two. This is a version three. Nice. Smaller box. Yes. And it puts some internal controls on the outside. Cool. It does. Octave up. Yes. With, uh, uses higher gain and two germanium diodes, I believe, to do the octave up. Right. I'm just going to check that. Yep. Um, it's got two voices, bright 
uh, and pure. pure. Yep. And then it does an octave down in the OC2 tradition. Cool. All analog. So this isn't a digital octave thing. It's right. all analog. Um, a Mutron, which boasts good tracking. Right. As long as your playing is clean. Okay. All right. So... I promise nothing. Yeah. So let's start with both the octaves off. Okay. And we'll go with bright and mids. Yep. <laughs> So two things. One, the mids thing is said, uh, use that if you're using a small amp with a small speaker. Okay. And you need more mid-range in the octave sound to be heard. Nice. Um, low, if you're using a more powerful speaker or a, a bigger speaker, a 12 or a 15, which has got the bass end response, it, it, it has enough to be able to produce it. Okay. So bigger which amps, bigger speakers, yeah, yeah. low, and, and basses as well. Okay. Incidentally, on the bass front, it will run at 18 volts if you want more headroom. Okay, cool. Yep. So uh, give us some more low octave. That's a cool sound though. It's definitely not polyphonic, no. and nor is it supposed to be. So single notes, unless you want a horrible mess. stuff is so so good do you ever play captain coconut 
No, but uh, oh, I heard yours. Man. Yeah. Oh. Really cool. Really great. So, yeah, this is, I've been really excited about trying out his new stuff. That it's is quite, just wonderful. It's definitely unfamiliar to me, the octave, because it's not like uh, the octave that I'm used to. Right. It's not like a Hendrixy octave. Okay. Um, well, that's, that's, and I don't think it's supposed to be. And in that position, it's supposed to be more like that. Okay. So, right. in, the, in the down position. <laughs> sounds wonderful to me that is much more about blending the two octaves and going sure. for the really yeah. crazy yeah, yeah, yeah. out there sounds and the, ba the bass octave is amazing the tracking is superb <laughs> It's almost synthy. Yeah, really cool. And yeah. I think with a different overdrive, it would be even more so, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really cool. We should try that uh, with some other stuff. Definitely. Different, like a smoother distortion, I would say. Okay. 22 minutes in. Yeah, we haven't got hope in hell, have we? No, not hope in hell. Okay. Uh, uh, talking of a uh, hope in hell, <laughs> Lord, the Lost Highway. Very good. F phaser from Fender. Um, two phasers, right? It's Slow two, and a fast? You, yes. You got. Uh, you can switch between two different rates and two different depths. The really cool thing, and we've seen this on a couple of their pedals, they have this uh, attack. Um, it changes the... Dynamic. The, yeah, yeah. The uh, the LFO. So it's like... Um, yeah, so the harder you hit like we had it before, the harder you hit it, you can affect the speed of the, of oh, the okay. LFO. I think that only works in the slow mode, if I remember the uh, manual correctly. But, okay. And it's all analogue, right? All analogue. Nice. Let's have a look. Playing for too long without reverb, Dan. Can I have some reverb, please? <laughs> <laughs> Playing all the wrong stuff to make the dynamic thing work. Just play one chord for us. So, so and that, the harder you play, the slower it gets. Yeah. Is there a threshold? 
switch? No. A sensitivity switch? Yeah. That's that sets where it changes. Yeah, so you can just get it to the right point. Yeah. Uh, you understand phases. Pretty serious. Yeah. I was uh, flicking between the four and eight stage quite a lot just to um, give you an idea. So more complex, obviously, in the eight stage. Yeah. Phasing, a little thicker sounding. That's cool. I like that sensitivity thing. So it gives you that ramp almost, yeah. almost um, a vibey yeah. speaker, speaker yeah. rotary thing. Yeah, yeah it would nice. be killer if you were running it wet dry in that, yeah. in that regard. Nice. Very really good. Nice. Very yeah. good. Okay, finally then, uh, Mr. Moto from J Rocket. This is um, a spring reverb, one knob spring reverb, and a three knob tremolo in one pedal. Awesome. So if you're, you know, if you're amp, if you're using something like the Morgan Jewel Twenty, for example, which does have neither reverb nor tremolo, mm -hmm. uh, the V140 has them both, but they're both turned off. Tour series, so it's super small, and uh, yeah, tiny. Lovely. I'm not quite sure why it's called Mr. Moto with a picture of a Volkswagen camper on. Maybe that's something that's eluding us. Okay. I have zero clue. Yeah, might, might be an American cultural reference which is passing us by. Okay, let's have a listen to the reverb. <laughs>
free delay. Yeah, very and very drippy. <laughs> Yeah, hear those reflections all the way through. Very nice. Uh, tremolo then, separate through. So I think what have we got? Rate. Your rate depth. speed, depth, and you can switch, but you can blend between a square wave and a triangle yeah. wave. Oh, it's sine wave. Sorry. Love that. And so tiny. Yep. I mean, there are other reverb and tremolo pedals out there for sure. Uh, Maybe Mr. Moto was a tiny man. Yeah, possibly. Don't know. Yeah. Maybe it all fits and lived in. lived in a van. Fits in your tiny van. Maybe yeah. it has to do with that. Maybe Mr. Moto had fit his whole world into a tiny van. Maybe it's about that. I like it. Can't wait to read the comments. Okay, cool. Good show in this week. Yes. Um, shall we jam? That's jamage. Okay, I just need Thank to... Thank you everyone for watching. Yes, indeed. Um, yes. Uh, thatpedalshowstore.com for all your essential merchandise also a massive thank you to our Patreons thank you to our preferred retailers and a massive thank you to everyone that's watched and commented and stuff all of that stuff let's rock let's rock <laughs>